Today we're going to learn how to install the Fixed Mount Probe on the Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.4. Now keep in mind that uh, this is an inductive sensor. It's designed to detect ferrous materials such as iron or in some cases aluminum. So I'll explain a little bit more about this in just a second. I just need to let you know that I purchased all the equipment in this tutorial with my own money and no one is paying me or sponsoring me to do the tutorial. So as you can see, this is the inductive sensor that we're using. Now because we're working with the Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.4, we need to use the type of sensor known as an NPN sensor. And this will work off five volts. So it'll work on your end stop for your Z axis. Now let me point out something about these connectors. Now keep in mind I added DuPont connectors to the end. And the colors are slightly different than what you're used to. So to start with, we have our black cable which is right here, and this is our signal in this case. The next color that I want to talk about is the blue sensor, and that is our ground right here. And then finally, we have our brown sensor, which is our 5 volts input. Now, another couple of things I want to explain is you can actually adjust the distance with these actual bolts right here so you can move them up and down to get closer to the surface to set up your Z axis distance to precision that you would like over here you can't see it right now but there's a little LED that will light up when it's reached a surface that is ferrous and so I'm going to show you how to connect this in just a second. So what I've done here is I pulled up the actual pin out diagram for the end stop. So I can point out where our end stops are. So we have our X end stop right here from minimum. We have our Y minimum end stop here. And then we have our Z minimum right here. Now the important thing to keep in mind is that this is a 5 volt inductive sensor so we need to know where the 5 volt pin is the ground pin and then the signal pin so 1.27 is our signal okay in order to connect this now that we know where the pins are I'm going to grab each one of these and I'm going to start to connect them via their color so we know that the center pin right here is going to be ground the next then one that we're actually worried about is our 5 volt pin which is right here to the upper portion of the end stop and then finally our black which is signal is at the bottom so in order to actually program this we have to do it in Marlin so keep in mind that the jumper i've already moved it over from where it was here which is direct power this is five volt power so i'm placing it right here now i'm going to connect the one end being the big end of the usb serial cable to the board right here and then i'm going to connect the small end to the computer and you may hear a beep Okay, to start with, as you can see, there's already firmware that was loaded as our current firmware. It appears to be the cursor type file, but it's meant to be current. Note the date and time, because this will be relevant in a moment. So I'm going to go over to VS Code, and what I've actually downloaded and then extracted, then opened, is marlin-bugfix-2.0.x. So the first thing that we need to do is go to the core folder from source, 
then boards dot h and what we're looking for is right here well it's not right here pardon me it's right up here we're going to search on skr and currently i'm using the board underscore big tree underscore skr underscore v1 underscore four now keep in mind that the actual version that i'm using is not the turbo if you're using the turbo board it's down here and you'll have to copy that into your configuration file so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to actually our configuration file right now and do a search on motherboard and I'm gonna highlight board underscore ramps underscore one four underscore EFB and I'm gonna paste what we just copied next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll up and I'm gonna change the serial port to negative one and then I'm going to do a search on D min underscore end stop underscore invert. And apparently I spelled something wrong, so we're just going to do a search on end stop underscore invert and as you can see right here what we need to change because the logic on our inductive sensor is going to be backwards so in order to get the correct answer we need to change the false to a true and then we're going to search on fixed mount or actually first well, let's do fixed mount. And what we have right here is, first of all, we're looking for a fixed mount probe because that's what we're working with. So we need to actually scroll down a little and see if we can find it, which is right here, and remove the comment. This will enable fixed mount probing for us. But because we're using that, we need to comment out up above the Z min probe uses Z min end stop pin. This is designed for the probing using the BL touch. So we're going to comment that out for the moment. And then in order to set this up to actually compile, we need to go to platformio.ini. And because we're using the SKR version 1.4 that is not turbo, we need the chipset for that, which is called the LPC1768. Now, if we were using the turbo, it's a different chipset, so it would be the 69. But we're not, so we're using 68 in order to do this. Now keep in mind, when I hit compile, it may fail the very first time when I click on the build button here, which will basically compile for us. But I'm gonna use the upload because we're directly connected to the TF drive on the SKR version 1.4 for the USB. So I'm gonna click this. If it fails, click it a second time after the failure. And while that's initially compiling, I want to thank uh, Tom for actually giving me a tip on PayPal. It's greatly appreciated. And for those of it you don't know, I also put affiliate links in the description so that you can find these products so you can get the right thing for your board. Okay, now that it's finished compiling, we can check to make sure it's okay by checking our chipset, which is the LPC 1768. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go over to the USB drive to verify that it copied over, which it has. It's firmware.bin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the power for the USB to program it. And then I'm going to plug it back in.
And as you can see now, the time and date has updated for the actual build that we just did. Okay, now that it's actually complete, as you can see right now, the probe does not illuminate. So I'm going to move it over here for a second so you can see that it's illuminated. Now I'm going to bring it back down. And I'm going to go to my desktop and open up my print run directory for Pronerface. And I'm going to connect to the device. And as you can see, it says printer is now online. So I'm going to type M119 and press enter. And as you can see, the Z minimum is now open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the probe on top of the iron right here and it's now illuminated so I'm going to press send for M119 again and as you can see it says triggered so if you like my tutorial please press the like button and subscribe and thank you for your time